It's a vibe check right here for my boy Ruben. Yeah, that's Ruben. Like the sandwich. Welcome to my religion, making chess moves in my division. If you hate to love me, baby, then I'm probably Brady. Bo Jack, how they running back after commercial? I don't need no weight, Herschel, when I'm coming to virtue. Bury you in the sands, cause I move like a lion. Get precise, like I'm Bryce when I start 49. I'm a Viking, I'm a giant. No matter when you be trying to blitz, I got a nickel for every time that you miss. High balling, get on your notes, cause I'm the coach. I'm present on every coach, the realest shit that I wrote. What would you give for the pages in my playbook? The holes in my defense, but I don't got no weakness. Vision when I draft the Pick. Come on, sit, let's politic. One thing that we know the same, everybody love this game. We went from plaguing in parks to gladiators. We came to see who the greatest, from the fans to the players. Players. Yeah, how are we, everybody? What's going on, people? It's been a couple days since my last uh, video. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. God bless. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't mind, I'd like us to take a moment of silence. Uh, the GOAT. Uh, from what I hear, officially retired today, Tom Brady, greatest quarterback that ever lived. Uh, let's just take a moment, if you guys don't mind, because I can't believe it. He's actually retired. He's actually done it. Here's the moment. <clears throat> all right. That's all he needs. Give him that moment. God bless him. Now he's probably going to make about. 25 million a year working as an analyst. Who knows? He's the greatest, so he can do whatever he wants. Talking about write your own ticket. But all right, we're going to start off today. Uh, we started out the other day with mock draft, uh, 1 through 10. And today we're going to go 11th through 21. All right, so we start out with the 11th pick. We have the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. And from what I gather. Just don't take my word for it. Just from what I hear, there will be known as the commanders going forward. The commanders. Not sure what they're commanding. And I'm not sure if that's the sure name, but that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> the commanders. So we have the Washington football team at the 11th pick. We have them taking Matt Coral, QB, Ole Miss. All right. Another, uh, uh, Ole Miss alum, um, following Eli Manning. Uh, we have Matt Coral standing at six feet, two inches, 205 pounds. Uh, ran for 713 rushing yards this season with 11 rushing touchdowns. Uh, threw for 3,349 yards, 20 TDs, five picks. Um, I think this is more of an RPO QB. Uh, but again, it's just my opinion. Seems like he can run all day. He has an above-average arm, but when it's all said and done, he's one of those quarterbacks that can uh, set the edge on desired runs. Uh, my only worry with him is that he's a little short, six feet two, and he's 205 pounds. I mean, 205 pounds in the NFL as a QB? I don't know. He, he might end up being injury-prone. Um, however, we do uh, have him as one of the highest-rated players, and let's see what happens with his career. So that's the 11th pick with Washington. Uh, with the 12th pick, we have the Minnesota Vikings. We have them taking Ahmad Gardner, cornerback Cincinnati. Uh, now, this player right here fascinates me. I'm sorry. You're talking about a player that's six feet, two inches, 187 yards. I want to say, I'm sorry, not 187 pounds. Runs a 4-4-2-40. Um, can play zone and can play man. I mean, that alone should be enough. Uh, but when you consider that he hasn't allowed a touchdown in his entire college career for, as a freshman and beyond, uh, he's allowed 96 yards all season. 96 yards all season. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is what you call a lockdown corner. So this would be a great pick for the Vikings at 12. At 13, we have the Cleveland Browns picking Chris Olave, wide receiver. Ohio State, um, another good player, another player that I think is going to be a really good player. That's what you call a deep threat player. He's the, he's the best deep threat player in the country and can get open against anyone. Now, this is this guy runs a 40-yard dash of 4.38, 6 feet, 1 inches, 189 pounds. He's a highly rated, he was a highly rated baseball player, and he tracks the deep balls very well. 
uh, and he's a great route runner. So this player at six feet, one inch, 181 pounds, Chris Olave from Ohio State, runs a 4.38, great route runner, great deep threat player. Okay, this guy is an unbelievable player, and I think would be a great pick for the Browns at 13. At 14, we have David Ojabo, defensive end, Michigan. You know my boys in Michigan. I'm not going to get into that big rant and rave as I always do. Uh, David Ojabo was six feet, five inches, 250 pounds. He had 24 tackles, solo, 11 sacks, five forced fumbles. Uh, what can I say about David? Unbelievable. He has great bursts with amazing control and speed. He causes havoc off the edge and can change direction very well. A physical player and plays fast. So he's not just a, a play uh, that's a that not just a fast guy, but he also plays fast, which is different. I'm sorry. You got to know the difference. He fires off the ball with pure speed. He's able to chase everybody down. And I guess if there's a negative that he's a little raw, then uh, needs to work on his technique. Other than that, this player, I would love him on the Giants. And again, we're not going to make this a, a giant scenario, but uh, I would love this six foot five, two hundred fifty pound defensive end from Michigan, David Ojabu, with so much talent and speed, pure speed. And that's the pick that I have at fourteen for the Ravens. Pick fifteen for the Philadelphia Eagles. By the way. The Eagles have several picks within the next 10. Makes me sad. But all right, we're not going to get into that. I digress. We have the 15th pick. We have the Philadelphia Eagles taking the Kobe Dean, linebacker, Georgia. Woo! Another talented linebacker. He's slightly undersized at 6 feet, 225 pounds, but he makes it up with his pure speed. Another pure speed player. He has a pass grade, a passing grade of 91.9 and a cover grade of 90.8. What does that tell you? Sounds like a player that can do it all. Uh, but again, it's just an opinion. Watch the film. This player at 6 feet 225 will cause damage on the field with great speed. Georgia, number 15 for the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, number 16. Again, as I mentioned earlier. For the Philadelphia Eagles, we have Andrew Booth, quarterback, Clemson, six feet, 200 pounds, a 21-year-old, great length with good muscle mass that makes him physical. This is what you call a physical player. However, he's also fluid in coverage, good run defender and blitzer. He's a freak, excellent, a freak athlete with excellent ball skills. I would classify this player as a ball hawk. So Andrew Booth, cornerback, Clemson. If Eagles get him at 16, and then at 15, I have them taking the Kobe Dean, that would be two dangerous players back-to-back -back going to the Philadelphia Eagles. Very scary. Uh, but that's where the draft is falling for me, and it looks good for them. Good job, Eagles. See how I say that with, uh, with some reluctance, right? <laughs> All right, with the 17th pick, we have the Chargers. Taking Jamison Williams, wide receiver, Alabama. Great player. When you talk about talent, um, Jamison Williams, this is the man. He did get hurt this season. Uh, he tore his ACL on January 11th at the national championship game, the loss to Georgia, uh, which can hurt his stock, as you know. But at the same token, let's go over his numbers. He runs a 4-4, uh, but they also show – that during his time in Alabama, he was also tracked as a 4-2. So imagine if he can run a 4-2. 4-4 is fast in itself. You're talking about Odell Beckham speed. 4-2, now we're talking about the greatest speeds up, Deion Sanders type speed, okay? We have him at 6 feet, 2 inches, 189 pounds, 20-year-old. He was a transfer from Ohio State to Alabama. And why did he go there? You know what? The slots were open. You had Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle. They left to the NFL. So there you go. You gave him an opening, and this man delivered. Jamison Williams. All right? This guy makes catches in traffic with great hands. He had two TD returns for kickoff. <laughs> Has great speed with balance, vision, quickness, 
and gets great separation, which is what you need as a wide receiver in the NFL. So dangerous player, Jamison Williams, wide receiver for Alabama, going to Chargers. Uh, if there's only worry, uh, if there is a worry, is that he did have a torn ACL, just happened in January. But let's see what happens. All right, we have next, with the 18th pick, we have the New Orleans Saints taking Sam Howell, QB, North Carolina. All right, Sam Howell, QB. But you know what I feel about QB is going high, but uh, Sam Howell, QB, North Carolina. He's six feet one, 220 pounds. He's a junior QB. His 2021 senior stats are 3,056 yards passing, 24 touchdowns, nine INTs. He had a QBR rating of 76.1, and he started 12 games in 2021. He's the AAU Sullivan Award finalist. He rushed for 827 yards, all rushing TDs. I mean, I'm sorry, 227 yards rushing with 11 TDs and five games with 100 rushing yards. Uh, so if you listen, he's got a good arm. Uh, but again, he's more of a prototypical running quarterback. That's the new thing these days. You seem to be getting a lot of running quarterbacks that have pretty good arms. I guess when you got Russell Wilson and you got Lamar Jackson and you got so many rushing quarterbacks out there, why not give another one a shot? And uh, that, <laughs> that's the shot that we have the Saints picking with the 18th pick. All right, with the 19th pick, and should I say this again, by the Philadelphia Eagles. Again, please don't be mad at me for my, I guess, uh, how I look, as I mentioned it. But three picks between 11 and 21? Great job, Eagles. I hate to say it. Great job. With the 19th pick for the Eagles, we have DeMarvin Leal, defensive end, Texas, A&M. Six feet, four inches. 295 uh, 95 pounds, had 58 solo tackles, 12.5 tackles for a loss, 8.5 sacks. He's a first-team All-American honors, started all three years for Texas A&M. What I'm reading here and I'm seeing everywhere, it seems to be the same synopsis. Uh, rare size, very athletic with great strength, and, he's, and he dominates at the line of, sc of scrimmage can play any position on the D-line. Uh, so as you can see, DeMarvin Leal, defensive end Texas A&M, would be a great pickup for the Eagles. Um, and you consider the last two that I gave him prior to that, that would be three dangerous players that might actually contribute their first season. Um, again, great job by their GM getting these three picks in, th in this position. Uh, but that's what we have at the 19th pick, DeMarvin Leal for the Eagles. For the 20th pick, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have Desmond Ritter, QB, Cincinnati. Now, Desmond Ritter, 6 feet, 4 inches, 215 pounds, uh, QB. Very good athlete, great scrambler, good arm strength. Uh, he can go deep, great movement in the pocket. Uh, he's a tough player, and he's not afraid of the big moments. So this guy seems to have some pretty good attributes from what I'm reading and I'm gathering. Uh, they're saying, the I guess if there's a weakness for him, uh, he can have some uh, some accuracy issues and spurts sometimes. And he needs to add weight and do a better job of reading coverages. But other than that, the talent, you know, the size, six feet one is a QB, 215 pounds, good arm strength, goes deep really well, and uh, great scrambler. Who knows? Let's see what he's able to do in the NFL, but he's got the potential. And then we have, for the 21st pick, the last pick in the draft, we have Kerr Elium, cornerback, Florida. Now, this is a 6'2", 193 pounds, cornerback. Now, first of all, size at 6'2", 193 pounds. Uh, you're talking about Richard Sherman type size. You know, that's what you need these days. These players are, are amazing. If you could add speed on top of that and size, uh, then you're improving your secondary. Uh, so we have Kerr Alim, uh, 2021 stats. We have solo, solo tackle, 17, one interception. Uh, he runs a 40-yard dash. They have approximately at 4.5. He's a long defender, moves very well, has unreal speed, and can stop and go, and can stop and go. 
I'm talking about snap and go. That's where you lose people. He's got that in great control. This is an amazing player uh, that I predict will be a great player at cornerback. And for the Patriots, I guess that's what uh, that's what Bill Belichick needs. Another great cornerback, right? <laughs> Uh, like, we need them to get any more great players. I'm sorry. Sorry to be biased, considering there might be some Patriot fans out there listening. Uh, but, again, that was our 2022 picks 11th through 21 mock draft predictions for myself, ranting with Ruben. Hopefully, again, you were able to get some good information from me. Uh, you know, in case you don't uh, get the information on your own, you just don't have the time. People have lives. People have things to do. Just know I'm here. I'm always going to be here, and I'm not going away. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a great night. God bless you all. And let's pray we all wake up tomorrow and start out a new day. See you guys later. It's a vibe check right here from my boy Ruben. Yeah, that's Ruben. Like the sandwich. Welcome to my religion, making chess moves in my division If you hate to love me, baby, then I'm probably Brady Bojack, how they running back after commercial I don't need no way to hurt you when I'm coming to verse you Bury you in the sands, cause I move like a lion Get precise like I'm Bryce when I start 49 I'm a viking, I'm a giant, no matter when you be trying to blitz I got a nickel for every time that you miss High balling, get on your notes, cause I'm the coach I'm present on every coach, the realest shit that I wrote <laughs> What would you give for the pages in my playbook The holes in my defense, but I don't got no weakness Vision when I draft the Pick. Come on, sit, let's politic. One thing that we know the same, everybody love this game. We went from plaguing in parks to gladiators. We came to see who the greatest, from the fans to the players. Players.